Alright guys, and welcome to my first tree tutorial. This is actually the fourth time I'm recording this video now. Uh, first two times, didn't have enough memory on my computer, so the video just stopped after about 30 seconds. Sorted all that out, recorded the whole video as you can see with this tree here. And then realised that my microphone was muted for the whole video. So, fourth time lucky. <laughs> um, this isn't an oak tree um, because from looking at pictures I think the oak tree has a bit of a shallower top and this is a bit steep so from looking at pictures on Google Images I'm going for a horse chestnut tree as you'll see from the title of the video um, oak tree will be next on my list though uh, the materials are oak log fence and oak leaves that's pretty much all you need so let's get started start off we'll go up seven blocks for the main trunk seven okay and then you need to start on the main branches so the main branches you're gonna come out in three directions for a smaller tree so starting on the third block go out one and then go up a block and come out two. So you got this shape. And the next direction is a diagonal. And you're going to start from the fourth block and this left corner. And then again, go up and at a diagonal. Okay, so there's your second main branch. And now the third main branch. Let's see if I can remember. Yeah. So that's from the fifth block. So going to the back of the tree now. And the fifth block on up. So there's four a gap of four. And then you start your branch. And you're gonna come out sideways and go out two. So it's similar to this branch, except it's the same level, but it does go out two. It's the same level, isn't it? Or does it go down a block as well? Oh it goes down a block as well. Sorry. See, this is why I have to check these things. So it goes down a block as well as going out to one side. So those are my main three branches. Now I need to make the smaller branches. With Conquest and Metadatas, I would normally use Cobblestone Fence with its metadata to look like the oak log, which you will see in my Let's Build series, which I'm doing on the Ravan server. Uh, but for now, we'll just go with the default. So. For the extra branches, you're just going to go into bits where you think you might need to cover a bit of space. So, from this middle block, go up one. And here, you go out one and up one. So you get this weird shape here. Okay, uh, the back branch, there's quite a few added on. There's two pieces. Yeah, so we're going to go out one on this side like so and same over on this side god I'm lagging quite a bit that's because I'm downloading stuff in the background probably so there's the main branches it's looking a bit confusing now so I'll just hover over the top so you can try catch up and from the side and then the top block you're just going to add a couple of extra blocks as well. So, the, the, and is it two blocks here? No, only one. Oh, I've only done one block. Just going out like this to the side. Now, with these trees, I wouldn't expect you to do a block by block copy the trees because it's quite hard to follow because there's just pieces everywhere. Uh, I'm going to try and explain it so you can do it block by block if you want but especially these bits for the branches now the main thing you want to do or when, what I do when I'm doing the fences is go out one down one out one cross down out cross down so this is too big for this tree uh, it's probably only going to come to about there but that's the general gist of 
what I'm doing is going out and across and sort of coming at a, a line in this direction or a 45 degree angle. Try to stay away from 45 degree angles if you can. Um, but yeah, just going off like that and also covering up other areas to keep the tree. Basically, you don't want to go like this or say like this too much because that's not going to look good when you make a tree it does look good for some trees for example like a willow tree where you've got really low hanging branches and leaves uh, that's where you want it but yeah so I actually do want to fence on there and get rid of them too so from this one it's block on the log one on either side block connecting to the log, one in the middle, down one, cross one. There's a lot of these little branches with the fences, so I'm going to do my best to explain where they go. I'm going to go one on top, one there, one there, and one there. So that's four, again, going across, down, and across, and that's just linking up those two bits of branch further around the back. Ah, now, I knew this was going to happen. So we're going to go one, up, and then three in a straight line. Now, I've just said don't do do this, but when it's on top of a branch like this, you can get away with it as long as you put a little block going off to one direction there. And I think this goes like this. And basically what that does is instead of it being a straight line, it's going to be a T-shape with the leaves on top. So you're not going to notice it as much. And you can get away with it so here this is that straight line I've got a block there and a block there and it looks instantly looks a bit more natural than if it looked like that that looks bad uh, again just joining up pieces of the logs so like this and then I think it's one on either side. Here, it's a very strange shape, but we're just going to go there, like this. Out one, out one. And yeah, this is again that idea I was going for where you go down, across, across, and out. Yeah. So you're just getting that sort of 45 degree ish angle going on. And I have missed a block off now, yeah. Later on I did actually add another fence to this side just to get a leaf block here. As you can see that leaf block there, just so the tree doesn't look as strange like that. That was just an option that I added because I didn't like this straight line there of the front uh, main trunk so the top ones now for the top you pretty much just want to spread out as many of these as you can to uh, just to round out the tree a bit so you see I've just gone for a cross shape here but a little further down so it's not quite at the top same over here, it's just another cross on this log. Like birds flying past my window and casting shadows across my room and it's freaking me out. Just been playing Alien Isolation, so very jumpy at the moment. And this log. Again, that same routine going out cross down cross cross and once you've done my trees once you've made a few of them it will just become second nature on where these fences go and that's about it for the tree all you have to do now is on top of every fence post at the side of every fence post and underneath every fence post just place a leaf block and when you're done 
should look something like this. So, rather than actually go through that in the whole video, I'll just look at these trees since I've already made it twice now. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what sort of trees you want to see next. I'm going to go for a small oak and then uh, maybe do two large ones. So the large horse chestnut and a large oak. Uh, let me know what I can change in the tutorial to make it easier for you guys to follow and understand. And thanks for watching. So don't forget to like, dislike, comment, subscribe if you can. All that fun stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one.